They could be a game changer in the Syrian civil war. Allahu Akbar! Known as man pads or man portable air defense systems, the shoulder fired missiles are a highly effective weapon. Now, Saudi Arabia is offering to supply moderate rebels with these weapons. That could tip the balance on the battlefield. Senior Middle East analyst David Weinberg. They see Sunnis, their, their compatriots, being slaughtered by Shiites whom they, they perceive as, uh, as heretics. And they see a religious obligation to, to rise to the side of their compatriots who uh, have been struggling on the battlefield. American-supplied, shoulder-fired Stinger missiles helped the Mujahideen drive the Soviets from Afghanistan in the 1980s. Allah. But U.S. officials oppose arming Syrian rebels with such weapons. They are concerned the missiles could fall into the hands of extremists who might use them to fire at commercial airliners. Because of U.S. opposition, the Saudis have not supplied man pads in the past. Middle East expert David Schenker. It's just too dangerous, it's too much leakage, and there is already a huge surplus um, from Libya that is out there in the open market that is moving around the Middle East that poses, poses a, a tremendous threat to civilian aircraft. The rebels cannot compete with Syria's Russian-made helicopters that have been dropping barrel bombs on the civilian population. Failed peace negotiations have disappointed the Obama administration, which no longer believes Russia will play a constructive role. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry. Russia needs to be a part of the solution and not be contributing so many more weapons and so much more aid that they're in fact enabling Assad to double down. Wealthy Persian Gulf states are also offering to supply moderate Syrian rebels with anti-tank guided missiles. Analysts say it is time to strengthen them. Right now, David Schenker. We've wasted a lot of time and there's been a lot of suffering because the rebels have not been as successful as they could be. I think we got to help change the, the dynamic on the ground. The Syrian war and disagreements over Iran's nuclear program have strained relations between Riyadh and Washington. Secretary Kerry has made two recent visits to reduce tensions. David Weinberg. Relations between the United States and Saudi Arabia are quite poor right now. They are going through a rough patch. They're not going through a divorce. President Barack Obama is said to be rethinking U.S. strategy toward Syria. No doubt, arming the Syrian rebels will be on the agenda when Mr. Obama travels to Saudi Arabia in late March. Meredith Buell, VOA News, Washington.